Welcome back to Fabulous Mode Detailing, you guys. In this video, myself and my brother-in-law, AKA The Hoof, as you guys know him, we are going to be epoxying a table that's gonna be the countertop for the new store, the new retail store, you guys. And I'm excited to do it. I know The Hoof is excited to do it. He's on his way over here. We have never done anything like this before, so go easy on us. Um, but hopefully it turns out pretty good. So, let's do it. All right, you guys, so before we get this video started, people are gonna ask me about my hat and my no off days t-shirt that I have on, you guys. This is from Brandon Jones. He is an Xfinity Series driver in NASCAR. He actually drives the Menards car, Turtle Wax car. You guys have probably seen I, videos of me and him together because we have actually been down to two different races, Darlington and uh, Talladega, and we had pit passes, VIP passes. We hung out with Brandon both times and such a nice guy. He's one of those guys, man, that's just down to earth. And when you talk to him, He's just a normal guy, which everybody's everybody's just a normal human, but he doesn't treat you any different than he would treat anybody else because, you know, you're not a famous driver like he is or like anybody else. Because there are other drivers in NASCAR when you approach them that they're not approachable. He is a very approachable, approachable guy, you guys. And when he launched this clothing line, uh, Defiant is actually the name of it. So that's the back of the shirt right there. When he launched this, I immediately had to buy it. Um, I put thir paid $30 for the hat and it looks just like the Fab hat. Honestly, it looks a lot like it. Um, and then the no off day shirt was also $30, you guys. Shipping was quick. Both products are very high quality. I want to put out that out there. I paid for this. Brandon did not send this to me or did not ask me to make this, you guys. I just like supporting somebody like him. Um, him and his wife are super down to earth people, you guys. And I just wanted to mention that really quick. So, all right, let me show you guys what the table looks like and we're going to go from there. All right, you guys, so this is the table. This is what it looks like. I paid $40 for this brand new at this furniture place here in Indy that has a really good deal on stuff like this. So it's just a black table with some like rounded edges. Um, it stands about, uh, about four foot tall. It's actually nice, very nice. It's five foot wide, three foot um, deep, I guess you would call that. But we need to, it doesn't matter about these scuffs. We've been setting stuff on this because it doesn't matter. So we're gonna scuff this up with some 220 sand, sanding paper. And when the hoof gets here, we'll start doing the epoxy stuff. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just here to be the cameraman. And like I said, we've never done this. He's never done this but this should be very, very interesting. And if we, it turns out the way we've been talking, it's gonna be pretty freaking cool. All right, so first up, you guys, we're sanding, or Todd sanding, 220, right? Yes. And just gonna scuff it up really quick. It helps the epoxy here. Yep. So this is going to be the first step. We won't show you guys doing any of the mixing of the epoxy or anything like that. Uh, that'd just be too much time. Plus, we don't know what we're doing. So we're, we're, learning, we're, we're, we're professional beginners. Yeah, we're uh, learning as we go. and We don't want to show you guys how to mix and we do it wrong and you guys do it and something happens. So It's pretty basic though. It's one part A, one part B, equal levels, equal ounces or by volume, all that kind of good junk. Yeah, they do 20 ounces of part A, do 20 ounces of part B. There we go. And mix it good. Mix and this is going to be the best looking table in the history of mankind according to Todd, so. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys, so we're all mixed up. The red, the black, is not black, what'd you call it? Carbon. Carbon. Carbon, and then white. And we're, Todd's getting ready to pour the red right now. That's a very cool looking color. It's got a lot of bubbles right now, but we'll get rid of that. There we go.
It's actually sparkly. That's pretty cool. Check this out, you guys. I don't know if the GoPro is going to pick all those sparkles up, but it's got... Mica powder is what yeah. they call it. Mica powder in it. That's exactly what I was going to call it. I knew you'd know it. Yeah. So the tape on here, you guys, is to keep it kind of on the table until he's ready to pour the tape, and then it'll go over the edge. We don't care if it gets on the legs because this is all going to be covered by pegboard. You should tape them up if you don't want them on your legs. That's but stick. we don't care about the, the legs or anything, you guys. Yeah, it can just drip okay. on down. We're not even worried about it. We're just hoping we mixed enough stuff. We're hoping Todd mixed enough stuff. <laughs> Me and April just sat here and watched. So is this stuff going to just spread on its own? Yeah. How long does it take to make it for it to spread? I'll let this sit for a minute or two. At least five, ten minutes. Let it do its thing. Alright, so that's it, you guys. The red pour. Oh, we're not pouring the other colors yet, right? No, not yet. Okay. I'm going to yeah. we'll come. We'll, in this real quick. Okay. Todd's going to heat it up with the torch. Get any, yep, I saw that. Did you get any bubbles that might be in it? Oh, that's pretty cool, yeah. I mean, because you want to get as many bubbles out as you can, otherwise it's going to show up. Drop the sauce and get the hockey in that Man, this thing's going to look neat. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and pour the black. Or whatever you call it, carbon. Carbon. Todd's nervous. I'm nervous. April, you nervous? No. April doesn't care. color also so we have two cups of this I should make more I wish we could make more kind of wild the way it mixes right there it's actually starting to pour into here. Here's what I'm gonna do. Gonna melt it together. It's gonna be a really like black and red marble. It's gonna be neat. Todd's practicing on this so he can do our countertops. It'll be done. All right. It could be done. Now the logo is going to go right here in the center. So it doesn't matter as much there, but still probably has to be flat, obviously. It will be. All that confidence in his voice. It would be flat. <laughs> Look at the metallic in that red, I man. I, I really hope the GoPro is picking that up. That is that's really cool. Why is it like water and moisture sometimes when you do that? There's bubbles in it. Okay. So if you guys look at this, you can kind of see like white stuff that's bubbles. And as Todd is using this flame, this heat, it makes all those bubbles disappear. Completely changes the look of the table. It's pretty cool. All these bubbles. I'm going to get ready to pull white here in just a minute. So right now, you guys, he's pulling the tape so we can let it drip over the edges. We should wait before doing this, but I don't have enough epoxy on here to do this. 
Or do I need to move that stuff so it doesn't drip in there? Just, if you put it right there. Pull, pull down, so it's not coming over. I'll put the drill right there. So what we're trying to do is get it drip over the edge. Yeah. Which it may not, it doesn't look like, which is okay. I'll get it. He's perfectionist. He'll get it no matter what. It'll definitely run off of that one because it's sloping. You see right there, it's getting ready to drip right yep, there. it goes. Yeah, because the, the corners are sloped. And this one's getting ready to drip too. Gosh, a de as a detailer, this gloss right here is just killer. Amazing looking. Getting ready to pour the white, a kind of an accent color. There you go. That's pretty cool right there. It's kind of looks neat actually. It's like water dripping almost. See that, April? Mm -hmm. I can't help but see fire every time. Every time what? I do this because I just see flames. Yeah, I see. Yeah, it is kind of like flames. Trying to not step on this stuff. I'm gonna try to take it all over the garage. Huh? Yeah. Yep. That'd be all right. Kind of curved. Yeah. I'm gonna make this kind of big. Yeah, that'll look good. So I told Todd to just do whatever he wanted to this thing. So he's just going at it, you guys. And right now it just looks absolutely amazing. Let me watch this. Now he's got the heat gun out. So that's gonna help spread it out. So this is what isopropyl ice alcohol. alcohol. Okay, you just spray an isopropyl alcohol on, and it's gonna do something. I'm not sure what. This is what they call the Italian drip. <laughs> the Italian drip. So he sprayed it into his hand, and it gave you cells, big nasty dudes. Okay. And the purpose of that? Watch the white. Watch the white. I'm gonna do it. Then I'll mist it. And it also helps with the watch. Oh, yeah. Does this help it cure, too? It helps it uh, get rid of the air bubbles. Oh, okay. But it'll sell that white. Turns so, out they call it cells. When it evaporates, all these craters will... I was going to say, all these craters, they'll be just, gone? Right. So anyways, you guys, I'm going to turn the camera off. Let me show you. This is what it looks like right now. We don't really have much more to do to it tonight, right? No. Nope, so then tomorrow I'll turn the camera back on and we gotta put the logo on. All right, you guys, so I didn't turn the camera back on just because we haven't done the clear yet and we were kind of having fun hanging out with Todd while he was here. So we, he remember on the way here tonight that once we put the decal on, we have to put this on wet, the water underneath it needs to evaporate before we put the uh, clear on top. So we went ahead and got this centered on the table the best that we could. I think it looks pretty good. And then we have the website right underneath of it. And then bare arms. 
uh, spray detailer, My Bear Arms, one of my first products, one of my first two. So this is the first one. The second one, the insert that I put in all the ceramic coatings for Freedom is going to go right here. He's got to put some stuff on it before we can do anything. And then I made the hoof sign it, Todd. Made him, I made him sign it and date it. He did not want to do it, but I said, no, you're, you need to sign this because it is definitely a work of art. This thing looks absolutely amazing. I just put it over here in the corner of the garage for right now because I need to get my truck in here. But he's not coming back out till next weekend to clear it. But guys, this thing just, wow, absolutely amazing. He does awesome, awesome epoxy work. All right, guys, so we are on a week later. Todd's getting ready to sand this down. Um, We've got the Freedom Coating oh, label over here now. This part I hate. <laughs> yeah, so he hates doing this because now we're scratching this like this perfect surface. Oh my God. But it helps with adhesion for the top coat. And um, believe it or not, coat. he says you won't see these scratches you when won't see them. the epoxy's on. Nope. So is that all you do or you have to do more than that? No, is that about right? Yeah, that's about right. I mean, I don't want to do Mrs. Fab's out. She's gone. Yeah, and also if you get pieces in here like a fly <laughs> you can yeah. sand it out like if a hair is on top would it sand it out yeah it would get it down to where you wouldn't feel it and it goes level and once you're done sanding you want to take alcohol and wipe all this dirt off of it so you don't pour a dirty table yeah. and yeah. control the dust that comes in and out of the door basically yeah, as best as you can because you'll get we've already told everybody you're either in or you're out at this point you're not yeah, going in and out of here <laughs> this is horrible looking now yeah because look at this remember how glossy it was before but now we got scratches all over it yeah yeah i did learn something i needed more epoxy when i did this to me it wasn't enough the cover, it did cover. You might but be not careful on the edges. And yeah. it went through right there when you sanded it across. Yeah, there. that's pretty cool. It's kind of thin. Yeah, yeah. He, he he thinks he didn't he didn't pour enough epoxy. This is guys, this is his very first table he's ever done. So yeah, he's it's, learning. It's, he's probably watching a million videos trying to I, figure it out. Yeah, I have, and <laughs> I went by what they said, but it didn't seem to be enough for me. Yeah, but live and learn. Some people probably say, well, you need to scratch it more than that. Well, yeah, it's all these scratches he's putting in here. <laughs> oh, yeah. So the, the table's shaking, you guys, but I'm actually going to be bracing this table, and there's going to be pegboard around it, because we're going to hang, like, brushes and stuff that can hang in the shop. It's going to be on the front of the table at the checkout counter. People walk up, they can see brushes and stuff like that. All right, you guys, about ready to go down. All right, here we go. No turning back. Nope. Starting right in the middle of the yeah. flat. Oh, that's thick. It is. They're going bubbles though. Yeah. A lot of bubbles. And this stuff does self level, so. So I see it's moving right there. I'm not moving my hand. It's getting closer to the camera. You got it really thick over here. It'll, I'll move it. I'm gonna keep it away from the edges. And you really don't want to scrape your bucket unless you know you got it completely mixed. If you scrape it and there's not mixed material in here, yeah, it'll get your epoxy, and then you'll be screwed because you have soft spots. Let's go over. right on your bracelet. <laughs> it'll be epoxy. It'll be protected. It'll be protected. You, know, you had a straight pinky. I know. It's a lot easier. <laughs> it seems so much more than when we did the color. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of epoxy on there right now. This is fine. See how the scratches disappeared, though? Yeah, they are. Sure, we got enough? Yeah, this is going to be plenty. So the important thing is we have to make sure the table is level, you guys, this way and horizontal and yeah, the other way. You. <laughs> I said horizontal and the other way, whatever the other way is. It's not vertical, obviously. I've seen where people thought they had their stuff taped off, too, and they come out next morning, all the epoxy's on the floor. Oh, man. Yeah.
Okay, here's the test of the signature. Didn't do nothing. Yep, so Todd's signature's right here. I made him sign it. He didn't want to, but I told him he had to. Doesn't look like it's going to do anything to us. That's good. We we're kind of worried it might. But it's okay. If it did, it made a blop, then I've been all right. All right, so now he's gonna heat it up, you guys. Try to get rid of a lot of the air bubbles that are in it. Does that help it level too when you get it locked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glossy. This is what love to see. That is so glossy. Man, that really makes that logo stand out yeah. in the middle of the table, yeah, man. That's, that's just really... <coughs> you can't even see the scratches that were on the logo either. No. All right, so what Todd's doing now is he's getting the excess off of the bottom. And also inspecting at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Add more. As you can see all this excess right here, he's just taking that stick and just going down and kind of collecting it in the bucket. Yeah. I really should sand it, but it's going to be what it is. Sand it? Yeah, so it's smooth. Oh, yeah, that doesn't matter. People are going to be leaning against it all the time. Right. In the shop. Now, if you're at a house, or yeah, you definitely want to not have drips up underneath it because it's not very professional. But, but I, I, I keep telling Todd, that really made the logo just stand out, even from a distance. Even from a distance, that just it just stands out like crazy. It did bring that spark off. Yeah, it did. Too. You can see the metallic he put in it. See that, you guys? That took, by putting that clear on, you can really see it. I mean, it's the camera's picking it up really good. The sparkle, or metallic, whatever you want to call it. Glitter. Mica powder. Mica powder. And this thing, I was afraid this thing was going to have brush strokes on it, but nope. Yeah, it's crystal clear also. Signature stayed. That's what's worth the most right there. That's right. So over here on this table is the sign that's going to hang when people walk into the hallway to come back to find the shop. This is going to be hanging outside the front door, you guys. Todd made this also. Yeah, it looks really good. We just got done putting epoxy on it. And then made a couple more coasters, one with AMS oil. And then by the time you see this video, he'll already have this. The one for Papa Smurf 918. We made him a coaster. All right, you guys. So the table is completely done. It's at the shop. It's not where it's going to go. It's just where we put it for right now. It turned out fantastic. Haven't put any protection on it yet. So it's still curing for another four days, I think. But it's here. It looks absolutely amazing. As you can see, I haven't done anything to the shop as far as the retail store is concerned yet. His signature did hold up once it cured for the most part. Like I said, it's not fully cured, but we were worried about the signature, but it, it, it stayed no problem. But it just makes the fab just really stick out. And just super, super glossy looking. Exactly what us detailers love to see. So yeah, there's the table, you guys. So when you walk in the entrance of this hallway, you'll see my sign right there. As you can see, Fab Detail Supplies. All right, you guys, so I know there's probably an echo in here and I apologize. I forgot to grab a microphone before I left the house. I didn't have a microphone on this entire video because I wanted to make sure we picked up the Hoos voice as he was talking also on the video. So um, sorry if the audio has been really bad this video. Hopefully it hasn't been too bad, but look how great that, that table looks. It's going to look so good once it gets all set up. And I cannot wait to, we're going to really start building this here soon, all the shelving and stuff. This stuff is not staying in here. That's just where we put it for now. Um, but it's going to look so awesome right there when people come in and check the table out. If you come in and visit me at the store, this is the first thing you're going to notice when you walk in because it's absolutely gorgeous. But uh, you guys notice that the hat that I'm wearing, this is the Fab hat. Looks a lot like the hat that I had on the very beginning of the video, the Defiant hat by Brandon Jones. It just shows he's got good taste because uh, I love the simplicity of just having it right there on the side. It's in the exact same spot um, as, as my hat. So that's what drew me to the hat as soon as I saw it on his website. But I want to say thank you to Todd. Thank you so much, man. You know that I love this so much. It's so awesome. It's, it's absolutely amazing. I learned a lot in this video 
epoxy really isn't that hard to do. It requires patience, which I don't have, um, and mixing and waiting to make sure you get it mixed properly for a certain amount of time because Todd kept checking his watch, watching them pour, watching him move the epoxy around. That's stuff that I never knew you would do before until I watched him do it, and it's pretty freaking cool. And this was his very first table. So there's always room for improvement, right? But I don't know what you could really improve. There's like, it's, it's perfect. It looks absolutely amazing. So killer job, Todd. Thank you guys for watching and checking this video out. If you guys liked the video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, join the Fab family. We'd love to have you. We'll see you in the next video.